Hello, my name is Marwan Aburaz. I'm going to discuss today the state of endodontic education and practice. It could be better. I say this because we have a lot of problems. The prevalence of apical periodontitis on a global level is 52%. Normally, it should be about one and a half to 7%. Did you know that within five to seven years, pulp cabbing procedures, 60% to 70% of pulp cabbing procedure will fail and develop periapical pathology? Did you know that mediocre, inferior endodontic treatment, which is prevalent today all over the world, okay, 20 to 64% will develop periapical pathology, and that's what, why we have the global prevalence of 52%. Did you know that 20%, 20% of crowns prepared and placed will develop periapical pathology within five to seven years and veneers after two years? The problem is that endodontic procedures, pulp capping, pulpotomy, pulpectomy, all these procedures are surgical procedures, and unfortunately, they've been performed as fillings, class one and class two. They're not, they should never been. They are surgical procedure and require surgical attention and surgical principles. But unfortunately, throughout the history, traditionally, Indo been under restorative dentistry. And that was wrong. Anyway, in addition to that, there is an imbalance in the curriculum. The international dental education, dental school curriculum is imbalanced. It's biased. It favors crowns, restorations, bridges, partials, dentures. It's so crowded. It left no room for the preventive fields of endo, perio, ortho, and dental hygiene. So we need to have some revisions in the thinking of the dental curriculum. But we're not going to wait for that. We need to do something immediate. The immediate is to remedy, to unlearn, unlearn some of the traditional concepts, the concept that you learned in school. And the problem, which I am very sorry about to hear about this, that 80% of endodontic services on a global level are performed by general practitioners. Dentistry did fantastic job. We have produced generation of superior clinicians. They do superb restorative dentistry, beautiful, crowns, beautiful occlusions, beautiful veneers, but the foundation, no good. It could be better. And the only way we do that is pay more attention to the biological aspects, the basic science aspects of the restorative prosthodontic procedures we are performing everywhere in the world. That's not being done. Commercialism is taken over, mediocrity is taken over, and that is not our job as a healthcare profession. This is what I put together, the Aburas Endodonic and Vital Pulp Therapy Program. 27 courses, seven on diagnosis only, 15 on clinical procedure, vital pulp therapy and endodontics, and five workshops. In the next few presentation videos, we're going to discuss each one of those. We're going to discuss the endodontic problem, the curriculum imbalance, the pulp, the pulp biology, the importance, 
apical periodontitis. And my vision of the general practitioner, the advanced general practitioner, he or she is so competent in endo, perio, prosto, and the diagnostic of orthodontics. Thank you for listening.